If a building is not demolished when necessary, it will create a big threat and endanger not simply the individuals occupying the property, however others within the locality as well. According to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, proper planning is crucial to ensuring that building demolitions are conducted without injuries and accidents. When planning the demolition of a building, there are many things to consider such as the structure, location, materials used, strength of the building, how post-demolition debris will be used of, and threats that it may pose if wrongfully executed. Finding the best method before proceeding with the plan is the most important element to ensure a safe demolition process. Take a look at some of the most common building demolition methods. As its name suggests, in this demolition method, a metal ball weighing between 0.5 and 2.0 tons is hung from a crawler crane. The impact of these metal balls destroys the concrete or the machines. This method uses two techniques. Vertical drop of wrecking ball. In this technique, the ball is pulled to a certain height and hit hard on the surface. Swing action of wrecking ball. In this technique, a steel ball is suspended from a steel rope and rotated by a drag rope and after attaining a certain speed, the rotating ball strikes the surface. This method requires an experienced operator to handle the wrecking ball. The building that is to be demolished must have open space for crane movement around it. In this demolition method, a machine sort of a hydraulic excavator is lifted with a steel push arm and pushed off the building's exterior surface. During this approach, the machine must have a rigid base to be operated from the ground. In addition, the space from the building to the sting of the road should be a minimum of 6 meter. If the buildings are connected, the building to be demolished is separated from the adjacent building by manual demolition. The implosion technique for demolition is mainly used in urban areas for very large structures. If the entire process was performed perfectly, the implosion should remain within the perimeter where the existing structure was located so that the process does not affect nearby buildings or properties. The basic idea of the implosion technique is very simple. Since when the support of the building is removed from a certain point in front, the upper part of the structure collapses onto the lower part. This method is an advanced technique for high-rise building or structure demolition. In this method, the explosives are arranged in such a way that the entire structure falls inwards towards its center of gravity. High-pressure water jetting is a concrete removal technique, principally to get rid of damaged concrete and tiles. Compared to traditional demolition tools, this is an effective way to cut concrete without affecting substructure and other parts, and therefore less structure-borne noise transmission, less damage to the building structure, and less noise emission. It can be used inside an inhabited building. This method is accurate and has less impact on the surrounding materials. It is safe and reduces the risk of workplace injuries. A burning bar or thermic lance is a tool that heats and softens steel parts or concrete within the presence of controlled oxygen to create very high temperatures for cutting. It contains a long steel tube filled with alloy steel rods, typically mixed with aluminum rods to enhance the heat output. The flame is generated by supplying pure oxygen at a temperature of 2500 degrees centigrade to melt the reinforcement or concrete. So these are some of the widely used method for building demolition. If you think this video is informative, do like this video and hit the subscribe button. May technology bless you.